This lesson is on the distributive property of real numbers. Let's take 2 times 3 plus 4 in parentheses. Now the first thing we need to do when simplifying this expression is we want to get rid of the parentheses. It turns out there's two ways to do this. The easiest way is probably just to take 3 plus 4 first and get 7 and then we can multiply 2 times 7 which gives us 14. But there's another way to do this. The other way is to distribute the 2. What I mean by that is first we can take 2 times 3 that gives us 6 and then we can take 2 times 4 which is 8 and add that to the 6 so then we just have 6 plus 8 which is again 14. Now when we do it this, this way it's called distribution and so the distributive property just tells us that either way whether we add the 3 plus 4 first and then multiply by 2 or if we take 2 and multiply it by the 3 and then add 2 multiplied by 4 we get the same thing now we might ask ourselves why distribute first it seems like it's easier just to add the stuff in parentheses first and then multiply right well the problem is sometimes we can't add the stuff in the parentheses in this case we have x, which is a variable. We don't know what x is. We don't know what its value is, so we can't add x plus 3 together. But we can still distribute to get rid of those parentheses. So what we'll do is we'll take 5 times x. That gives us 5x. And then we'll take 5 times 3, which gives us 15. So now we know that by getting rid of the parentheses, we get 5x plus 15 through the distributive property. So even though we don't know the value of x, we can still get rid of those parentheses. Why is this important? Well, it makes it so that we can solve more equations. For instance, we could solve 5 times x plus 3 equals 4. But we'll save that for a different lesson.